What's going on everybody? In today's video, we are going to be talking about some direct mail advice, specifically in regards to what your postcards or letters should look like from a creative standpoint. Because I see a lot of uh, real estate investors out there as well as just other people in general that completely mess up their direct mail. And they wonder why they don't get any leads, why they don't do any deals with direct mail. When in fact, there's actually proven templates of direct mail pieces that you can basically just swipe and deploy and use for your own business. So the first tip I'm going to give you is that when you're creating your direct mail piece, you should be modeling it after another piece. You should not be starting from scratch. Now the best examples I can give you, and actually the direct mail that I use in my own business, and I know other investors have used very successfully as well, would be Richard Roop postcards. <laughs> now if you want to just uh, see what they look like, go to Google right now, type in Richard Roop, R-O-O-P, postcard and then click on Google images and there's going to be about a hundred different examples of successful direct mail pieces and this is the type of direct mail that you should model your, your direct mail and if you look at his uh, direct mail pieces they're going to be very like personalized very specific there's going to be a lot of text there's going to be calls to action there's going to be various ways of, of contacting you uh, and that's what your direct mail should look like your direct mail should not be some glossy postcard with like a family in the front yard with a dog like everyone's holding hands that should not be your direct mail piece it's crazy to me that, that people in pretty much every industry, they'll send out tons and tons of direct mail without really having done any research whatsoever into what makes a direct mail piece successful. So my second tip would be you know, to educate yourself on direct mail. Uh, Dan Kennedy would probably be the first person I would read. He has, he has books, articles, pretty much read, just type in Dan Kennedy direct mail and you know, within a couple hours you can get, you, know, you probably know more about direct mail than like 99% of the people out there. Another great guy to look up is Gary Halbert. And he was actually famous uh, before he became successful. He was sending out so much direct mail that when he flew over a city, he would look down at all the houses and he had sent out so much direct mail that he'd actually sent out a direct mail piece to one in three people in the United States. So this guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to direct mail. That's Gary Halbert. And the third thing I would say when it comes to the uh, design of your direct mail is that Yes, you should emulate like people like Richard Roop, uh, other successful marketers. You shouldn't have some glossy image of uh, you know the dog and the family or whatever. Uh, but at the same time, keep in mind that your list, in my opinion, and many other marketers' opinion, your list is going to be the most important thing out there. So while you should optimize your direct mail and make sure that you have the best copy uh, on your direct mail postcard or letter, keep in mind that your list is going to be you know, probably the most valuable asset of your entire direct mail campaign. So I actually have a couple videos on how to find the best list. Uh, there's several different ways of getting lists. You can go down to your courthouse, you can purchase lists, uh, sometimes you can compile them yourself online. There's different ways of getting the information and pretty much all of them are good. And once you actually start getting into direct mail and doing your first campaign, you'll start to realize which one is is the best for your area, whether it's uh, purchasing the list, whether it's maybe paying someone to go down the courthouse for you, or maybe it's just accessing it online. Once you get into the direct mail business uh, and into sending out mailings, you'll, you'll soon realize which, which way is best. So there you have it, uh, how to design your direct mail. And just to recap that, uh, you should be emulating other successful real estate investors. Uh, I mean, it's shocking to me how many people will just like blindly send out uh, just basically junk mail that has no chance of ever getting uh, responded to. You should also be educating yourself about direct mail. So there's books and articles by guys like Dan Kennedy, guys like Gary Halbert, people that have sent out like tens of millions of, of letters and postcards and direct mail pieces. You should, you know, read their stuff. You're going to start to see trends in, in, in what they say in terms of direct mail. And that's probably uh, means you should probably follow that in your own direct mail. And then the third thing is that let's say you're the most uh, OCD person. You can't decide on which uh, postcard or letter your list is still going to be the most important thing. So just the, more, more importantly is just getting some type of mail out there. So you should model it, but don't get too caught up in like intricate designs and, and things like that with your postcard. The most important thing is your list. Get it out there. You can always change it or edit it if you, if you want to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.